morning. Good morning. We are back during there into the dock and we are getting unloaded right now. Yep. You guys can see a lot of snow up there. Yeah, we are sort of fighting with this patch today. <clears throat> now they, they gave me a load offer yesterday, which was impossible to do. So I told him, you know, I could be there Monday morning, but I couldn't be there Sunday at four o'clock the way they wanted me. So then he said, okay, we talked to the customer and we agreed that uh, we're gonna get there at 10 o'clock Monday morning. Well, by the time the day was over, they canceled that load on me. I, I think they gave it to somebody else. So uh, then they gave me a different load and, I, and that one is going to Regina, Saskatchewan and they want me still to be there Sunday four o'clock in the afternoon. And I, I just don't see it happening. It just, that just ain't gonna happen. And because I mean, I'm an hour away from Toronto. I gotta go into Toronto. There's always lots of traffic up there. Go drop this trailer, go pick up my load. It's gonna be lunchtime by the time I do all that and then get out of Toronto, you know? And, and then I got to uh, drive uh, 2,700 kilometers, which is I think about 1,800 miles. And uh, I, at least I think that's what it is. Let me have a look here and see what my calculator will tell me here. I'm just looking it up here on my uh, computer. I think it was like 2,740 kilometers altogether from where I'm at right now to where I got to deliver. So that's how I look here. That's 1,712 miles. So divide that in three. So I got to do about 570 miles a day, which is doable in essence, but you know, it's winter up here. And, and by the time I get out of here and, and pick up my load, it's gonna be lunchtime. And then I've got to drive way into the night and, and I just don't see it happening getting there at four o'clock, you know, but yeah, well, whatever, right? They just pissed me off yesterday that, you know, first we, you know, we had this all this worked out that we we're going to do this load to Saskatoon and then everything was, you know, agreed up on and then later on, you know, you go and cancel that load on me. That, that's just something that pisses me right off when they do that. But, oh, well, there's always a positive to everything, I guess. and. We will have a different load eventually. If not, hey, there's other truck companies I can work for. I'm pretty sure I got a clean abstract, driver's abstract, so I should be able to get another job if I wanted to, but I like this company, I like to stay here, but you know, it, sometimes it's difficult. But it's like with that other, every other job that you go into, you're gonna have difficult situations and you gotta deal with them, and that's all that's all part of the job you know but anyways they're getting me unloaded here and uh, we should be unloaded here probably in the next half an hour they've been working steady on it so uh, we'll see what happens we finished uh, unloading our load talk to dispatch and uh, they still want me to do that Regina load so we will be uh, making our way down to Toronto and then we will be uh, picking up the load to go to Regina. He's trying to give me a hard time about, you know, that that load isn't in a rush or this or that. And, well, you know, you didn't say that in the first message where you sent me the load offer. You never said anything about uh, uh, the load not being in a rush or that Turn it was okay out. to deliver Commerce on Monday. And then turn right at 290 meters. It seems like that's a new dispatch up there, and he seems like he doesn't have everything together yet, you know. But whatever, we'll go do that stuff, and then we'll see you down the road. Well, we are here at the master steak, and have a look. We got ourselves a nice steak. That's for sure, so we'll have a bite to eat, and we'll get going. Well, here we are in Toronto area. We just finished dropping our trailer and we're heading over to our uh, uh, place where we pick up a preloaded trailer. And I just figured I'd give you guys a glimpse of what Toronto looks like. Yeah, right here is not that much going on, but you know, got the airport here to the left. 
I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but not much visible, I don't think so, but whatever. We're going to be turning onto Airport Road right here. And just down the road, that's where we go pick up our preloaded trailer. We are in Sudbury again, Ontario. We were here yesterday evening already, or yesterday towards the evening, at early evening, I guess. And at that time it was dark already. But today the sun is still up. But it is starting to get dark. Definitely is. I'm gonna attempt to try and get as close to uh, Salt St. Marie as I can. And then uh, we'll continue on tomorrow, I guess. Now oh, we got vehicles coming, so we're gonna make sure that we can cross before we get back on the road definitely want to be safe out here right there we go well we have had a very good day all day it's been sunny i'm very happy about that it's been sunshine meters, all right day and pretty much dry right roads right here it looks a little bit wet but it actually has been dry roads pretty much all the way I guess it's just because it's here in town I guess the dry the roads don't dry up as much but on the highway it's been dry so Take that's the good to the left on highway 17 west Audi E17 west salt suite yes Three. we will do that we will turn yeah well as here you can see the highway is dry for the most part just gonna have to wait so we can make our turn there we go this light is actually pretty good usually a lot of lights they don't have very good sensors in them but this one is very good as soon as you come up to it it doesn't take long and you're you're in business the light changes yeah I guess we won't have much filming left to do today, yeah, I guess. Because the sun is starting to go down. Now it's probably another yeah, it's 300 kilometers from here to South St. Marie, and we got 4 o'clock. So that's 5, 6, 7, yeah, I'd say 7.30 by the time we get there. Got a couple of towns we gotta slow down for that stuff so anyways we'll put the hammer down and Continue see where well. we end up well it's good evening all right good evening we are in uh, South St. Marie and uh, we were sort of parked over here into the snowbank a little bit but I guess that's how we have to do it up here in Canada because they don't have very big truck stops up here you know so that's just what we got to do but, yeah, well, you see uh, all kinds of trucks parked up there as well. You'll see uh, trucks parked up there and all that stuff, you know. Got one part right here on the side. Got one even over here on this side. But, uh, anyways, I'm calling it a day. We will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. With that, we shall see you again.